Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to, well, none other than the beta uh, of Vanguard Zero. So, I did manage to get in to the beta, which is definitely a very nice thing. Um, and so the beta is all in Japanese. If you've been watching my streams so far, I've been streaming the game. The first one was quite unsuccessful because it was quite buggy. The second stream was very successful. I kept that one online because it's full of fights. You can check that out if you want to see more gameplay. But today, we're going to be focusing on, specifically, the ranked mode. And so we're going to try to climb a little bit with Nova Grapper a little bit more. Um, I'll just explain the ranking system in the game for now. So we have different ranks, as you can see on the uh, bottom right with like the bronze, silver, and gold, but for the sake of the beta, they only have ranks that are called legend ranks. And so you see that I'm legend 2, and so it goes up to, I don't actually know how far yet, but you see that like the top player right now is legend 9. So that's, you know, one of the like heights that it can go up to, but for me, I am, you can see I'm ranked 4054, and even rank 100 is legend 4, so we're not that far away from that. But when I was streaming, the lowest ranks were legend 3, so it goes up all the time. And right now, um, you can see that the time that it shows in the game is a Japanese time. So for me, it's 10pm, but in Japan, it's 5am, and so it's gonna be, you know, they're gonna wake up soon, these ranks are gonna go up even more. So that's something to keep in mind. But so, I'm gonna have a, a video up later that will talk about specifically like what, like things you should know about the game and like things to expect. Because it's, it's, it's very different from regular Vanguard, but that does not mean it's bad. It actually is very, very fun and I enjoy it a lot. Like honestly, it's a lot more fun than I expected. So, today we're just gonna look at a few, we're gonna do three ranked fights. We see how they go. Nova's been my least consistent one so far in ranked. I haven't played Royals yet though. And then OTT has been the most consistent, but so we're gonna go in with Novas. Um, as you can see, we can here pick our Nova deck. So I'll quickly show you the deck list. I'm gonna talk about uh, the differences between this game and, you know, the real Vanguard game in a separate video. But so, if you already know, like, there are differences in the sense of, you know, things like the fact that, um, you know, Grade 2s basically have this kind of like taunt ability where your opponent has to attack into the Grade 2s before they can attack your Vanguard. You can't guard apart from PGs. There's no Grade zeros apart from your starter because the triggers are on your Grade 3s instead, as you can see here. So it's quite different, but we're going to talk about everything in the actual, uh, well, separate video that I'm going to do on, well, things that are different between this game and real Vanguard. So we're going to go into a fight now. I, you can see my. we have the legend rank and then below that is the clan level so it goes up with um, you know with as as you fight as you win and lose um, and you just get for now you're just getting medals and those medals you use to unlock new characters as you saw I had Quirin unlocked and then uh, oh we're going second that's not that good but then apart from that um, you also have things like one second we have to mulligan here it's actually a pretty good hand I think I'll keep it yeah I'll keep this but so, you can also unlock sleeves, as you can see I'm using Misaki sleeves, and so that's... Oops, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few nice little intricate things about this game that are very nice. So, I hopefully can show off uh, some of the differences in this video as well, so you guys can enjoy it. So, our opponent's riding into Luckbird, so they'll be able to put up the Lozenge to the back, because she still has the Forerunner skill. But the difference in Lozenges and also the Riser skill is that um, at the end of turn you draw one and put it back to deck and it counts as a stand. So you kind of change its skill almost. So we're going to ride into the Clay Doll. And so you're going to see we're going to be able to use the Forerunner ability, call it to any circle we want. And here we're going to choose not to do any early rushing because it's not super effective in this game in my opinion. Even though our opponent is at a, you know, power that we can really take advantage of, it's a bit risky. So, also you'll notice that the drive check did not go to my hand. It's basically, if it's a normal unit, it goes to the bottom of your deck. And if it's a trigger unit, it goes to the drop zone. So that's how it works. So we just saw Burst Riser went back to, or Riser Custom Riser went back to, uh, oh no, Battle Riser, sorry. Went back to the deck and we drew one card, which was our PG. Also, another thing you'll notice is that when I went first, I drew two cards. When you go second in this game, you draw two to make up for the fact that your opponent's going first and will be able to go on grade three first. So, I think it's an equal trade. A lot of mobile games do this, so I think it's not that, um, you know, unprecedented. So, yeah. So, let's see here. This has an on hit skill that let its soul charge. And as you can see, I don't even have the option to guard. So, the way that guarding works here is that the PG will just come out when 
I'm about to die. So when I'm about to take the 6th damage, the PG just pulls up and uh, negates the attack after the drive check. So even after the drive check, even if it get double crit and would be about to kill you, you PG it. So I kind of like that mechanic actually, I think it's quite nice. So I'm not actually that negative about it. So here we're gonna ride into the Trans Riser and hopefully be able to top that thing that isn't a great 3. Ah, damn it. So that's the unfortunate part of this card, so it can superior call anything from top of deck that is great 2 or less, but unfortunately we did not get very lucky, so I'll have to pull something behind the Vanguard. I guess the Claydol will have to do. And it's not a good idea to rush here either yet, so let's just go in like this. OTT has some really nice skills in this as well. We got a heal, it's pretty nice. Gonna add the power to our Vanguard. So we're up ahead, 0 to 2. So yeah, the game is very... Like, it plays itself quite simply, but it's really, really fun. Like, I've been playing quite a bit today, throughout the day, and I've been having a lot of fun. Now you get to see one of the awesome animations as well. They grip them straight from the anime. But for me, actually, it's not the animation, but these... These effect animations that are so pretty, and you'll see plenty of them. So you saw Amaterasu's right there. Uh, the, you know, Oracle skill, basically, to check the top card. And now we'll see Luckbird comes down, gonna be able to Soul Blast 2 to draw 1, it's very good. Look at that Soul Blast animation, you know, like it's so pretty. Honestly, like this game is very polished in my opinion, it's very pretty. They didn't just waste time, you know, they really worked on this game a lot, and you can really feel it, like you can really feel it. So I love that about this. Ooh, that's a pretty big offense that he's got right now, so hitting me with that 10k, that will hit. So now. When you take damage, you gain 5k shield, basically, 5k power by default, so now he's still gonna be able to hit with everything, because after this, unless I get a defensive trigger, I will be on 17, I'll be on 22 if I do, we gotta stand, so that's nice. But, so yeah, now Amaterasu has to check a trigger in order to go through. However, the Oracle Guardian does hit, so he's able to count us 2 to draw 1, since that's the rearguard ability. It's quite good for Vanguard 0 as well and is able to use the Petal Fairy, which I completely forgot about. So I think if, when it boosts, if it hits, then you can discard one, draw one. So yeah, doesn't get any triggers, therefore doesn't hit. So we're safe. Still on two damage, maybe we can draw into a Kirika or something to try to push. We draw the Ashura Kaiser, that's very good. That's definitely what we want to see, because we haven't seen too many great threes just yet. Let's the animation play. Very nice. So. Now we can really get in there, pull down the gold Rutil, and the Lion Heat. And then we can kind of go all out, because you're not, you can't guard with the other cards, you don't have any shield value, so that's one thing. <clears throat> so what we can do here, I could have, I should have called them differently, because here we can just attack this unboosted, which is very nice. And then we can attack like this, with the boost, and because it hits, this has an unhit ability where I can Kalmas 2 to stand something. And so we're gonna be able to stand him for Kalmas 2. Very nice. So this is definitely going very well. Uh, I guess we can slap the rear guard here, and then go with Vanguard and hope for some uh, great threes to drive check. We don't want this rear guard to stand there too much, but we also don't want to negate our own Vanguard's attack. So, gotta be careful with that. I apologize for the notifications, I still haven't figured out how to fully turn them off. Apart from just making them not appear. Okay, first check, nothing. Second check, also nothing. So, I think we made the right move there. And he PG's. So, there goes the PG, that's how you see. So, it, the drive check ended, but it's interesting because technically he wouldn't have lost there. He would've just been on 4. Um, I guess I should read this again. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I guess it doesn't say necessarily when you would lose, but... Oh well, I mean, nothing too bad. That's already one PG gone. The other really nice thing is, when you're in battle, obviously you can have this dynamic camera that we have going on right now, but you also have this, like, you know, top-down camera as well, which is quite good. And on top of that, you have a log in the fight, which shows all the actions taking place, and you'll see here, you see all the triggers that have appeared so far, and PGs. And we see that he's calling down um, or at least he's shown us more PGs than I thought. So, two Luckbirds. This guy must main four Luckbird. That's pretty crazy. Gets the crit. Must have seen that already. 
Let's see what's the second check. Or where he's putting the power is gonna go to the Tom. Tom has a very scary ability that he blocks the Sentinels. So here we take three damage. Will the PG pop? It does not. Which means I think we're gonna lose because of that, because Tom cannot like Tom will kill me. And I don't hit any defensives, therefore Tom will kill me. Wow, that's unfortunate. The AI should be smarter than that. Because here I can't use Sentinels. Oh, but it doesn't hit. Oh yeah, it's only 24. Right, that doesn't hit. Why didn't he attack Rearguard then? That's very strange, because... Hmm. Okay, well we lived. I simply miscalculated. Happens to the best of us. We have Mr. Invincible, but we don't have, we don't have enough cards in Soul to use his ability, so... Let's just skip ride and call him down. And now let's go and do it all over again. So, here I will attack with the Mr. Invincible on here. So, they don't get to guard the rear guards either, so we just slap it and it goes away. So that's very nice. Here I'll attack with this, because if we check a grade 3, the... 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 Um, what's his name? A uh, Death Army guy will be standing anyway, so yeah. Now let's swing and hope for a trigger. Nice, a heal trigger, that's perfect. Just what we needed. Um, let's see. 17... They're both 17, so I'll stand this one. Oh, that was me giving power. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So yeah, now this is a stand. So, hitting for big numbers. Can we get a second one? Yes, we do, and it's a crit. Perfect. So the crit goes automatically to Vanguard, that's something to keep in mind. And so this one's already hitting for 22, so even if 2 damage... Yeah, if 2 damage goes through... Mm, risk it for Biscuit. Let's hope for the best. Alright, let's see what those damage triggers will be. Hopefully not too much. So I didn't just invalidate 2 attacks. Oh, there's one. Nice, we're still hitting. Perfect. Let's go. He has to guard both of these or we win. Looks like we win. Nice. So, let's see if he gets a heal. No, nope. it's a Maiden of Libra. Game 1, win. So, very clean. Nice victory. I'm running a very crit heavy build in this. Um, some people play like crazy amounts of stands and stuff like that. Um, but nah, I chose to go more crit focused. I don't even run draws actually in this deck, so... We go ham, we go ham. So. First game, very good. Uh, let's do a second one. Alright, looks like we're playing against an OTT player once again. We're going first this time, very good. This hand is... not bad, per se. Okay, that's alright. Mm. Now it's good. Now we're chilling. <clears throat> Let's ride Claydol. Like, I think you guys can see, like, the animations are so nice. Really, it's like, animations are clean, the the gameplay is clean, like, it's not buggy. Like, when we're actually in-game, it's really not that buggy. Almost at all. Ooh, Dark Cat, we get to draw. Maybe. Um, but, the only times it bugged so far for me that I've seen was times, like, where, um, like when you're entering a game, sometimes it's just like a white screen and it doesn't load. But, yeah, that's about it. Gets a Tom. Well, it doesn't go to hand, it just appears. Oh, okay, no defensives. We don't want to see too many triggers just yet. Let's go into Mr. Brutal Jack. Look at this, now look at this effect, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so clean! The animations are so clean, really. I love it so much. Alright, let's go a bit offensive. We'll slightly push. Let's hit with a 7. If he gets a defensive trigger, which he does, now it's a 1 to pass. You know, still many chances. Still have 10 triggers left in deck. Uh, fortunately, not there. Oh well. So that... Oh wait, no, that still connects. 
Oh, I see. Is that normal? Oh wait, no, because yeah, Brutal Jack gains 5k, I completely forgot. Yeah, right. My bad, my bad. That's my stupidity. And as you will see, as you saw there, uh, at the end of the turn we drew one before the card returning. Maiden of Libra, taking advantage of the fact that I gave two damage. Mm. Promise Daughter. When she attacks, you discard one and she gets 5k. That's interesting. Dark Cat. See that effect? Like when it, like, dangled? It's so pretty. It's so nice. Alright, what are you gonna do? Going very offensive from the very get go. Will she trade? Nope, she's going face first. Gets a PG but does not go to hand. That's how this game works. Just goes to the bottom. We get one defensive. And now. Already one of the attacks doesn't hit. Let's see what he's gonna do next. Swings at my rear. That's definitely fine. You know, maybe I would have liked to keep that, but I have some great ones in hand, so I'll be okay. I call that knowing that I'll probably lose it. And this one still hits. For a second, I thought it bugged. Jesus. Ah, we got a crit. Not in that timing. I would have liked that great three on drive check, not on, on damage. Ooh, Kirika, that is good. That is definitely appreciated. Let's go. Ashura Kaiza. I love also like the little triangle with the crime symbol in the middle. That's super clean. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Okay. What do we do next? I think Kirika definitely want to call. Also the Lion Heat. We can bully a little bit. We do that. Brutal Jack next turn, I think. I want to keep one intercept in hand for next turn. Mm. Let's see. I think I'll call this behind Vanguard. I do want it to go back to have more stands. Well, to have one stand in deck. And then. Where does my Death Army guy go? I guess here? Let's try to set up like this. Alright, battle. No, again, I should have put it differently. I'm still a bit AP. A little bit. I think we don't use it here. I'm not gonna take the draw yet. I wanna get the stand instead. I think that's worth more. Oh wait. Mmm, I made something stupid. I thought that was on hit rearguard. It's only on hit vanguard, so we have to bet for a trigger here. Crap, I messed up. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh my god, I messed up really bad. My bad, misplay. I forgot Lion Heat's effect is only when it hits vanguard. That was my bad, I'm so sorry. Because we would have gotten an extra draw there. I guess we drew the PG here, so it's okay. But that could have been played better. Definitely, definitely. She has a huge hand too. She's been drawing while giving us the cards from Dark Cat and stuff, so... Damn. Soul charges. Goes to the bottom. Oh, she's gonna be able to look for grade 3. Did one? No. Uh, did she? Or does she? Oh no, she gives something 3k, never mind. Kirika goes bye bye. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate, by the way, I didn't use her. That was my own mistake. My own bad. Ooh, she heals. That's nasty. Now if she hits rear... Okay, we PG that. I mean, normally the AI should hit the rear. I mean, no, I mean, the, my opponent should hit the rear. Yeah, okay, smart opponent. Yeah, punish me for my stupid play. Mm. It's a bit of a shame that we can't guard the Vanguard. Also, there's an option to change playmats in the game, but... I mean, I haven't been given a playmat yet. So it's a bit unfortunate. Mm. Part of me wants to re-ride. Part of me knows that there's no point. That's right, Skip. I think there's no point. So, let's unleash your strength. I'll pull Death Army Guy just to boost so we can hit numbers, I guess. Right? 
Um, I guess I'm gonna hit numbers. Nah, I should call. I should call actually. Okay, battle. I can't waste too much time. Let's go with Brutal Jack. I wanna swing at rear again because. Like, I just don't wanna give him attackers. So that's gonna be my own downfall. Let's go. Pray for triggers. Nice. Heal. Good. We come back with a heal. Very good. Um, let's give power and stand to Brutal Jack here, I think. Very nice. Oh, running out of time. And a stand trigger. Oh my god, we're running well in time. The timer in this game is pretty harsh. Especially with like effects and stuff like this. We might not have enough for the last attack. I think we're running out of time before the last attack. Yep. See, my timer runs out and I don't have time to do the last attack. That's one thing that's really annoying. Like, legit. Just losing the timer because like in the start of turn I thought too hard on what I want to call. It's like, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. The timer should be a bit more lenient. I think it's a bit too strict. Um, as the game is right now. I really think they should be a bit more lenient with it, because I just lost the whole attack. Like, that might have cost me the game. So that's pretty sad. Sakuya is really good in this right now, because she is on call. Like, if in his situation there, I would have used her skill to on call combos too, bounce everything. Use Dark Cat again, use the Coco again, like, really, it's all good. Okay. I mean, luckily we're still on, like, 2 damage. But, I mean, if he, tra if he attacks everything on my field, I'm not in a particularly nice situation, am I? Ah, I would have liked that in hand. Oh, he attacks Vanguard. That's interesting. Oh, that's my phone falling asleep. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's reconnecting me. Will it reconnect? Purely because, like, I'm looking at my uh, screen. Okay, nice. Well... Goes to main phase already. Okay, let's battle. Swing with the rears. It's lucky that it reconnects. It's also like if if the game shuts down, it also tries to reconnect, which is really nice, honestly. It's very, very nice. He's bound to have a PG, but he'll have attackers no matter what. I should we just go face here? One grade three here is gonna be huge for me, so. Let's hope for the best. Come on, just one, just one, just one. Ah, I needed that card this turn. Damn. Could have attacked rear, but it was really more worth to go all in on the Vanguard, I think, there. Especially with, you know, let's see how many triggers I still have left. Still have seven. Seven whole triggers. That's crazy. Apologies for the notifications and everything, that's, that's my bad. I can't stop them, unfortunately. Oh no, I'm gonna lose not only to notifications, but also to the game itself. Let's see if we can heal out of this. Oh. Do we get one? No, we don't. Alright, GG. GG. Good game. So we're 1 1. Let's see if we drop any rank. I'm gonna wait for the notifications to stop before I continue. Do we drop any rank? Nope. Still stays. Alright. We got another token. Alright, now I wait for the notifications to stop and then we can continue the next game. Alright, so we're back now. Um, and it looks like you have your daily missions actually do reset every day. So here we have, like I already cleared these missions yesterday but they're back. Oh yeah, it even says daily here. Yeah, okay, these are daily missions. So just like play with each clan once per day basically. Or win with each clan once per day. Which might get a bit exhausting um, once the game comes out. 
so hopefully they have more diverse um, options. But yeah, so this this video we're only playing Nova. Uh, I'll have separate videos dedicated to different clans. So yeah, only Nova this time. Next time we'll do OTT, and then Kagura and Royals. So yeah, we're playing against Undo. Hmm, interesting hand. Just swap one. But as you can see, the timer is quite strict in this game, really. It can really lose you the game too, so... Something to keep in mind for fellow beta testers. It's really, really punishing. We're going first, and that was a good top deck too. Damn. Alright, going to the wolf. Call the Battle Riser, and pass turn. And he goes first, so he, I mean, he goes second, so I guess he's got two. Goes to the bar. All right. Let's see if he's gonna go more offensive, or just gonna call it a day. Yep, just gonna call it a day there. Get the draw. Strong, strong. So we're gonna take one whole damage. We don't play draw, so we're not going to be getting any of that. So I'm not sure what the optimal trigger lineup, or like even optimal builds really. Like this deck is, the whole game is quite difficult on that front, I would say. Um, well I think I'll ride the Brutal Jack. Just have 11k base on the opponent's turn so he can't push me too hard. And then call this. Ah, again. That's so sad. Alright, let's release restraints. And let's just call this. Baturu. Swing for 14. And gets nothing. And then swing again. For hold 19. We get a PG, but it doesn't go to hand, it goes to bottom deck. Unfortunate. Oh. Better than PG, PG to damage. Ah, uh, we draw our heal, Gold Rutil. We'll be able to use the next turn though. I mean, call it down as a tanky attacker. It's not too bad. The Grey Threes are interesting because like you want to run stuff that you will be using. Um, like, you know, like that you can use when you ride it. But then you also want to run some stuff that you can use while even, you know, uh, on rearguard circle, so I think a Lion Heat is a perfect example of that. But Gold Ritual is really good on rearguard circle too, so... That's the thing. Damn, he just burnt our back row. Pretty sad. Berserk be like. It's the Soul Charge, very nice. Swings with a 17, if we get a damage trigger we will actually negate that attack, so let's hope. Oh, we got it! Nice, good timing, good timing. Very good timing. So we're safe now from this attack. He can just pass turn. Gotta not let my phone fall asleep. Ooh, Brutal Jack again! Good. Go with Shirakaiza! Okay, so... Brutal Jack. Use a skill to lose restraint. And... hmm. Kinda wanna keep the lady for next turn. Just because he can retire it. I don't wanna lose my good interceptors. So we have to swing at both great twos here. Because they're both guarding the vanguard from being attacked. So we have to swing at those two first and then hope to get some great threes. Um, to restand. That would be quite optimal. We haven't seen too many yet. Like three? Four? I guess four. Let's hope for the best. Nothing. Yes, a heal! Arguably one of the best things to get right now. Uh, yeah. Let's give it to Brutal Jack. And with this skill, we'll be able to stand. So our opponent has to get a defensive trigger here to negate the Brutal Jack. Which he does. Okay. A heal for a heal. I did the same thing to him last turn as well. So we'll just pass. Wait, no! Brutal Jack gains 5k, doesn't he? Where's that Vanguard only? Ah, it's when it's boosted. Okay, never mind. He wouldn't have had enough. I didn't have a boost to begin with, so 
No. Boosters are pretty scarce in this game. That's the one thing that you really feel very, very quick. Ooh, Overlord. At least you can't use him yet. Overlord is really strong in this game. It's crazy how good it is. Because his Canvas 3 loses two drives, but after it hits a rear, it restands for free. So on rear guard, it's just like, oh, I'll just casually trade your whole front row. Double heal? You must be joking. Damn, let's. Ooh, heal draw? That's nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no amount of defenses will protect him from this. Does he hit Vanguard? Or does he trade? I think trading is smart here. The gold rutil is a prime target. He's, he's thinking about it. Nope, he's going Vanguard, okay. I guess give me more damage to heal. Mm. Not the best timing. Would have rather had that next turn. Oh, our one stand is here. I have two cards in the soul. Mm. There's no point to re-ride. But this will be nice with it, Mr. Invincible later. Mm. But will I have a turn? No, I'll keep him. I'm afraid of not getting a... Um, not getting a unit later. Go battle. I gotta trade rears first. Uh, I'll swing at the end, because it's gonna get very, very annoying. And he only has three cards in hand, so he doesn't have that many targets to call down either, I think. So that should be safe. Let's see if we get some great threes. Or not. I guess not. Alright then. Okay, that's fine. Him losing PG is fine, and us gaining a PG is also very, very, very fine. So, let's see how many triggers he's revealed us. So he's had three heals already, so six, and I've seen five out of 13. Interesting, interesting. Oh. There's the Overlord. Still can't use the skill, though. Trades once again. Hmm. Swing the fan. Nothing and nothing. He did double trigger us earlier, so. All the AI chooses to PG here. That's interesting. Why did he end his turn there? Oh damn, speak of the devil, I was just talking about Mr. Invincible and here he is. I guess I can ride here, huh? We need the strong and No, I need the 11k to swing at Overlord. Yeah. Alright, skip again. I really don't want Overlord to stay alive. So yeah. I think it also makes sense to swing Rears first in this deck just because like any trigger we get is a stand. No matter what it is. See, heal, it's a stand. So put that there. Animation for Ashura Kaiza. We'll stand our other Ashura Kaiza. And then Akira Kirika. Let's see if he gets damage triggers. He does not, so we can still attack. Nice. BK! Oh, YouTube Studio notification. Still no defensives, which means he might get a trigger on this turn. And I don't have a PG, but I'm on 2 damage, so it should be okay. Let's hope. Pray and hope. Oh, he's gonna retire something. It's pretty expensive though. It's like what? Soul Blast 4 to retire 1. Pretty expensive. But he chose not to do it. Oh no, there he is. The animation for Soul Blast 2 is so nice. Ah, and that too, it's so nice. Get some extra power. Not calling anything. The Mad Lad? Does he double crit though? That's the question. Nope. Okay, okay. 
There's 15 cards left in the deck. Oh, we got a defensive, not the best timing. Oh, we joined to a PG, but I think... Alright, skip. He has a lot of damage. I need to call this PG down, I think. He has two cards in hand, I think we can end it here. I really hope we can. Let's try. Swing with a 10. If he gets a defensive, that, that's gonna be for nothing. But he might too. Okay, he didn't. He did not. I wanna swing with Weir here first. Does he have a PG? He does. It all comes down to this. Do you have... Do we have a trigger? Yes! Crit. And we get the stand. But we have to put the power here. Does he have the PG though? What's the last card? It's not a PG. We hit two damage. Is he able to recover? Does he get a heal? Nope. Nice. GG. Nice. Third game we won. So we go 2 1. A solid record. And so that was pretty good. Novas are aggressive. This crit build has been serving me quite well as well. Pretty happy with it. So you can see here the clan level goes up to 10. So it's quite nice. But yeah, so that was it for the Nova gameplay on Unranked Ladder with uh, Vanguard Zero. So really fun. Honestly, having a great time. I love this game too. Here it says like your season presence. Here's shop tournaments. This thing is shop tournaments. Very interesting. And this is um yeah, I can't really see what that says, unfortunately, because the first word is blocked by the chain, so can't really see it, but cool, you know? It's really fun. So the beta is going on for four days total, from the 9th to the 13th. Um, well, technically that's five days, isn't it? Because 13th is what, like a Tuesday, Wednesday or something? I think? Yeah, it's a Tuesday. So it goes on for five days, which is really good. Um, hopefully a lot of you got in and are able to try it out. So yeah, so that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be a lot more Vanguard Zero coverage coming soon, so do stay tuned for that. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.